In this session, you will see how to update the YouTube component to capture the URL entered, entered by an author in the dialog. We have accomplished the following so far. Created a YouTube component that will add a specific YouTube video to the page. Created a dialog where the author can enter a different URL. This was the dialog that we created. The requirement was to update the video using the URL ended by the author. Let us start. Let us create a JavaScript file named url.js. You basically need to copy and paste the code here. Let us go through the code line by line. Here it is creating a JavaScript function. It creates a constant property underscore title and assign JCR title to it. This is a very important property. Let us take a look at the JCR properties after you add a value to the components dialog. Let us go to content AM company. That's the page where we added the component JCR content content YouTube. This is primarily the component YouTube component that we added. See JCR title property is assigned to the URL entered by the author. Basically, this is the URL I entered later. We are primarily assigning JCR title. That is this property which captures the URL to property underscore title constant. Let us take a look at the dialog that we created. You know the title is the text file uh, that we added there. The name of the text file is JCR column title. So that's the reason the value entered in the text box is captured as JCR column title. Here we are creating a variable named URL. We are adding a property, a text property to the URL and assigning it as granite.resource.properties of JCR title. Basically, we are assigning URL.text property as the JCR title, the URL entered by the user. Here we are checking whether URL.text property is null or not. It would be null when a user drags and drops uh, the component to the page because at that particular point author hasn't it entered anything to the uh, uh, to the text box if it is null we are assigning a default value now we are converting url as a constant and returning it that's about the javascript function Now let us change the code that we wrote in the youtube.html to use the script. I didn't make a lot of change. I added data sly hyphen use attribute here. This is primarily a slightly attribute that will allow you to use a JavaScript function. I am assigning the return value of the JavaScript function that we just uh, that we wrote just now to a URL variable. Now I'm using URL dot text uh, at the SRC value of the HTML code. This way you can easily use a cyclic property inside your HTML. We are done. Now let us see how it works. Uh, go to the page, drag and drop the component your page this is the component note that at this point it is displaying the default URL that is create your first AEM template I'm going to select this I click edit the dialog pops up here I'm going to paste a different URL that I have given in the block I'm clicking OK Note that 
the video has changed. You can see that the title has changed from AM Authors Templates Components. Another video that I have up uploaded sometimes before. That's about this particular session. Of course, there are lots of pitfalls in this com component. At the first place, it doesn't check if the entered string is a URL or not. Also, no need to display a video at the first instance and so on. The intention was to show you how to capture a user input from the dialog and we have succeeded. I have uploaded sample code to my GitHub. Thank you so much for listening. See you in the next session.